Today we're going to be hunting morel mushrooms with CSBSJU computer science lab coordinator and resident morel expert John Miller. Now John around these parts you're known as being pretty frugal uh, with sharing your information about morel hunting. Uh, first, uh, why the change of attitude and how much are they paying you? Well, the pay is, uh, I can't really mention that on the air, but uh, yeah. as, as far as uh, where to look, is that what you're getting at? Oh, yeah, I think, why, yeah, why, I think, why am I changing my tool yeah, here? Exactly. Well, the, the Arboretum just passed this new policy that nobody can pick morels in here anymore. So uh, from now on, it's just to be looked at and used as an educational tool. And I'm very much in support of that. I think it's neat to be able to see those mushrooms and for people to know that they exist because they're, they're kind of an awesome little critter. And I, I love going out and just even just seeing them is wonderful. Okay, so while you're sharing your secrets, can you share just a few bits of advice for our viewers? <laughs> Oh, you're really getting at it, aren't you, Tom? <laughs> well, you have to recognize a certain kind of dead tree. That's what it's all about, in my estimation. People say dead apple orchards, ash trees, elm trees. I do elms. That's kind of my thing. Okay. Now, let's say I happen to go out today and get myself a handful. What do you think about eating them? How, uh, what's your favorite dishes? Oh, I really have one, one main favorite, and that's just fry them in butter. Oh. Yeah, prime butter with a little salt in there. That's pretty heavenly, just plain. So pretty straight up, yeah, all, right. all morels. <laughs> yeah. All right, now let's say I go out there and I uh, hit the mother load and I get myself a bucket full of uh, morels. Uh, talk about preserving them. Well, you can dry them. They dry down real easily. You just have to slice them up and set them in the sun for a couple days, maybe four or five days, depending on the weather. And then just throw them in a jar and you're set for the rest of the year. You can dig them out and rehydrate them or fry them up, throw them in a, a baked dish, and they're really, they really uh, cook up well. Great. Well, thanks a lot, John, for taking us out uh, today, and good luck. <laughs> My pleasure. 